each year I've fell more and more in love with it. I, I spent four days the first time I came. I spent two weeks the second time. I spent a month the third time. And now I spend all year. I'm a doctor from Houston, Texas. I didn't want to quit practicing. But there comes a time in everybody's life, unfortunately, when they, no matter how much they love what they're doing, they have to quit. What I, had, I finally decided was that you had to turn one hobby or one love into another. And I was sort of a, fi a fisherman uh, all my life. And I've uh, got a condition that that's, I've had for about 15, 20 years called Parkinson. And it does make some difference, although uh, my friend, which I'm going to introduce in a second, seems not to matter. He, he says it's okay to have the shake as long as you set the hook right. Pete Woods a is a magnificent fisherman from the uh, Silver Creek group that, that furnished our guides. He grew up fishing. He, he lives fishing. You think he gets excited with the big fish, he gets this excited when we see we have little ones. I have never had a better time in my life than the times that I've spent with Pete. He yells at me constantly. He screams at me a lot, and he hits at me a lot. We drink a lot of tequila, but somehow or other, we, he seems to catch fish. You know, the brown drakes are, are your favorite hatch of the year. They're your favorite thing. The hatch was really late this year, and when the hatch came off, um, or the hatch was supposed to come off, you were in the hospital um, with pneumonia, and the drakes waited for you to get out. Somehow or other, we entertain the whole county when we're f fishing because we can't stay quiet when we're catching them, on, especially when we catch a big one. To watch two little apes out trying to catch a fish. Good. That's the spot. Be ready. That's the spot. Get ready. Get ready, Doc. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. There, Doc! There, there! Oh. He ate it. All right, let's back up a little bit. Big bastard came up right there, Doc. That's that's a nice fish, Doc. Yeah, that was a fish. Get ready, get ready, get your tip down. Get your tip down, get ready, Doc. Get ready, get ready. Get ready. There, Doc, there! Oh. There, Doc! There, there, Doc! Oh, God, that was a nice one. God damn it. There, Doc, there! Oh. Damn. There, Doc, there, there! Oh. This is big, just brown. <laughs> oh my god! There, Doc! Thought we had that one, Doc. But all we can do is come back and try again tomorrow. It, when you're fishing, you don't realize all that stuff is going on. It's fun, it's fun to watch the, the, all the emotion that, that go on during, during one of those sketches. Get ready. You got him! Tip up, 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 tip up. That is a huge fish, dog. Real, real tip up, tip up, tip up, but let him run. Let him run when he needs it. Keep that tip up. This is a smoker. Keep, is he still there? Keep reeling, dog. Keep reeling. This is a 25 inch fish, dog. I'm not shitting you. This is the biggest fish I've seen on the brown drake. Keep your tip up, dog. Keep your tip up. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go, dog. Let him go. Tip up, tip up, tip up. Raise your tip up, but keep that left hand away from the reel. Lift your rod tip really tall, Doc. Really, really tall, Doc. Really, really tall, Doc. Well, what, what Pete and I have a saying is, anything worth doing is worth doing to excess. Oh, shit, Doc. You got him. <laughs> now that is a fucking brown. Big dancing drake. Look at the size of that brown. Somebody said, at 83, you buy a new tuxedo? And I said, hell yes, I'm only middle age. You think of those brown drakes? Look at that nose. Wow. Oh my God, we got him, dog! And a, and a man who, who feel, feels like that his life was sort of over because he couldn't work anymore, he didn't, or didn't feel he should work anymore. Uh, it's given me something new to, to look forward to. I mean, and I, and I am really happy.
I can't imagine any, any better time.